Welcome everybody. I'm going to do a little experiment this morning. Uh, a bloom and I'm just going to use Amsterdam white and water for my cell activator. If you ever run out of your Aussie Floetrol or you don't have any, can't get it, then this is an alternative. This is a PBO blue green. Um, I think I'll put red. These are a little thinner than I normally. Well, I thin them down a bit. Seems to work better if it's thinner. Well, they all have to be similar, so the paints are thinner than the white. This is the consistency. It's pretty thin. Doesn't even make a mound, it just goes flat. I'm going to use my straw. Oh, I went too hard there. Somehow, I think sometimes if you're a little quick with it, it works good. The side worked really good. It's pretty good there. gloves on. Just letting that sink.
there. I think it's pretty good for water and Amsterdam paint. So you have a choice. There you go. Just try it, experiment on a little spot of, with your different paints and see if it works and then do a tile. That's what I did. Nice lacing here and here and here and over there. The middle is a little different, but all in all, I think it worked. There you go. Give it a try. If you don't have Aussie Floetrol, you can use this. Now, Canadian, uh, American Floetrol, I'm not sure if that works if you use a lot, but I think you need to add other ingredients. Anyways, there you go. Look in my description below the video for my recipes for my blooms. And there's a tutorial in there too, and it has other recipes in it. Anyways, there you go. Have a great day and uh, stay tuned for the dry results. And please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Hi, everybody. Here's the dry tile that I did with water and Amsterdam paint. Dried nice and smooth. A nice shine going on here. Middle's still a little wet. But yeah, I love the metallics in there. That blue green. shadow. There you go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Thanks for coming by. Have a great day. Bye-bye.